Flight test days can be pretty challenging. We actually start pretty early in the morning with a flight test day. My name's Brett Hill and I'm the project manager here at Alauda Aeronautics and I'm here with... Grant Hiller, I'm a senior aerospace engineer here. Uh, today Grant and I are going to run you through uh, our flight test program that we're running here at Alauda Aeronautics. Now we're at the door at 5am to get there and set up in time so we can get there for good wind. You know, weather is always major enemy. As long as we can get up and out to the test site and set up really early, give ourselves a really good chance to execute you know, a number of different flights in the day so we can really keep ticking off those um, boxes in the flight test program, make sure that we're hitting all those milestones and yeah, progressing through the program really quickly. Uh, the vehicle that we're developing right now, uh, the Mark III, is designed for racing and it's designed to be high performance. We've got a very methodical process that we work through. You know, all of our test cards are laid out sequentially, so we're gradually expanding the envelope of the aircraft. We're doing all of our V and V. We're making sure that, you know, we're starting off with very simple manoeuvres where we're just moving the aircraft in each axis independently. Then we're looking to validate all of our PID coefficients and the tune of the aircraft is good and the pilots are happy with how it flies. You know, that's extremely important to us because pilots can't control the aircraft and they don't feel safe in doing so then you know we can't progress and you know get towards those higher speed maneuvers. We've really gone from the very basics of getting the aircraft handling the handling qualities right and then as you say we step through we build up the maneuvers to more complex maneuvers. One of the things you mentioned there and I guess we'll elaborate on for the audience is that with engineering, there's a lot of facts and figures, right? So when we're designing something, it's all about the numbers and everything's quite exact, as you, you want it to be in engineering, because you want to make sure everything's right. But flight testing's a little bit different uh, in some senses. You know, we obviously, we do a fair bit of testing where we benchmark against, you know, facts and figures. But as you mentioned, we've got a pilot in the loop. Uh, and that does provide a bit of a challenge, particularly for those of us who are very uh, numbers and exacting, because we've got to deal with how people perceive the, the operation of the aircraft. So what do you think are some of the keys to, to structuring that well and, and making sure that we as the engineering team um, are interacting well with the, the pilots? Yeah, I mean, like you say, whenever we're doing anything, we're always starting off with our analysis and our models, and but they only tell us so much, right? And so when you actually go and fly the aircraft in the real world, we look at through all the data. The analysis is saying one thing, the data is showing us something slightly different. So then we go back and we work with the pilots, sit down with them and understand, okay, how can we improve this handling quality for you? What do you think is going to make the aircraft feel better, safer? So. The next phase of our testing program, we're going to introduce a, a new vehicle, which is called the Mark 3C. This is a real uh, step change. Um, it involves a lot more on the telemetry and the collision avoidance system is being introduced now. Um, we've been working with our technical partners at Telstra for a long time to, to develop this. Um, we've got a whole communications network set up. Um, this is happening actually this week. So, you know, this is a big milestone for the company and, and our engineering team. Uh, as we get towards doing the more advanced maneuvers, such as racing three, four or more vehicles in close proximity, what do you think is probably going to be one of the biggest technical challenges for us to, to make that happen? Well, I think with anything in it, that we're doing is, is communication, you know, the communication between the team, you know, how we all speak to each other and work with other, each other over the radios, so we're keeping each other safe. But I thought, also think from the aircraft side of things is communication as well, how the aircraft are communicating to each other, to the ground station, to the flight engineers. All right, so thanks Grant for joining us today and, and talking through our flight test program. Grant's been one of the, the key figures who's designed and, and executed the flight test program and he's a very experienced engineer. So thank you for running us through what's um, been a, a really good year and a, a successful year um, and which we're hoping to continue on into to 2022. Cheers, thanks Brett. Thanks for joining uh, both myself and, and Grant today uh, as part of the Alauda Aeronautics team, representing the wider team of engineers who are working on our production programs. 
Uh, if you've liked the video today, then please uh, like it below and you can subscribe to hear more from our engineering team as we develop the vehicle. And if you've got anything you really want to know about our development program and the vehicles themselves, leave a comment uh, below um, and our media team will work with us to try and get the answers to you.